Hello my fellow riders, today we're going to be doing a video on the Lexmoto Impulse 50cc equivalent electric motorbike. So as you can see we're standing next to the 50cc equivalent electric scooter and this one is from Lexmoto. Now with this uh, so today we're going to do this sort of similar to what we normally do with a couple of slight changes so we're going to do the spec design comfort cost of riding and pros and cons some of these ones are going to be done in a vlog style uh, on the road so we're going to try and mix it up a little bit but first we're going to go with spec so this has a 1500 watt hub driven motor and that is made by bosch the battery is 24 amp hour and it is 60 volts. Now Lexmoto are saying that you should be able to get 40 to 50 miles, obviously depending on how heavy you are, your radiance, how much, uh, how hard you accelerate, what settings you have on the clock and all that sort of stuff. The general rule of thumb with most electric vehicles is from what I've seen on the internet, is take whatever the manufacturers tell you you can get and reduce it by about 10 to 20 percent just because the conditions that they test them on are in the perfect conditions the conditions that you will be using your bike on probably won't be perfect conditions so we open up the seat we have a rather large seat in there you pull that little handle down there and you can get access to the battery compartment so it's got a plastic top with a metal underneath and it comes with this rather large 60 volt 24 amp hour battery now it's fairly easily taken out and you can take this upstairs and charge it it's, this probably weighs about 15 to 20 kilos it does have a charging port there and the charger that comes in with the bike you can either use it um, on the battery itself or there is a plug just here where you can plug it in and charge the bike without taking the battery out also the battery has a charge status on it so that you can check how much charge it's got even when you're not um, even when the battery is not on the bike So if you drain the battery down to about 10% and you want to charge it from 0 to 100%, you are looking at somewhere between the 6 to 8 hours of charging. So it comes with a USB port. Um, the, these are like a, a general scooter uh, switch gear. And there are a couple of different features on there that wouldn't normally come with a scooter. The Bluetooth device is really cheap. So as the lady said, there is a Bluetooth connectivity that you can get for this, and there is a specific app as well. Last time I checked, they had it in um, I think it was Chinese and there was another language, but it hadn't yet been converted to English. The um, English version was planning to be transferred. I'm not 100% sure if they've done it yet, um, but I was told by Lexmoto that they are planning to bring in the electronic, um, not the electronic, the app for this bike. I'm not 100% sure exactly what is going to be on the app. Um, it'll probably tell you about your statistics of driving or, or whatever. So as you can see on there, you've got your miles per hour, your trip, how much battery you've got, your um, miles. Now on this, you have to hold down the brake and push this park button up to make it so it's ready. If your side stands down, you won't be able to do that and it won't turn to ready. So if you see here, it's got an amp meter and when you accelerate, the amp meter goes up. Now, when you're riding um, on the road, you'll notice that it goes up a lot higher than it was here because there's no torque, 
no torque needed for the motor just to run it as it is. Another feature that this scooter in particular has, which is quite nice, is it has a built-in camera um, so you can record your journey on the front and it doesn't actually have one on the back but if you open up the seat you'll see this device here is what it's recording onto you can take that out put it onto your computer um, and that's more to protect you from if somebody pulls that in front of you just so that you can show the insurance company that somebody has done that and then there's no quibble on whose fault it was again that's another thing if it was your fault they can also see that it was your fault so you've got hazard lights, uh, the mode which changes it from sport, eco, comfort, back to sport. Indicators. You've got your switch, so you can change your trip and sport and stuff. Oh, actually, sorry, no, this is reverse. So hold that down and it will go in. It says, let's have a look. Max speed, three miles per hour in reverse. And obviously a horn. Design. Quite a lot of the uh, electric scooters are designed to be extremely light because the lighter the bike, the further it goes. So they have incorporated, incorporated this philosophy into the way they've built the bikes. They've got no plastics all over the handlebars and it's got a minimal rear swing arm as well which is aluminium so that is going to lighten the load considerably over the whole bike it's got cast front wheels the lights on this are fairly nice and they are fairly bright so high beam and that actually lights up the warehouse fairly nicely on this bike so LED lights, meaning you're not going to have to change them unless you get a problem with, with your actual lights. And then, um, and then obviously you can get that on warranty. So as I said, it's a basic design, but at the minute, all electric scooters are coming in the same sort of way. So. So we're going to go to the test ride external and we're going to do comfort and the pros and cons whilst riding around the block. So this bike is fairly comfortable, it, you can sit up straight, it's very very quiet obviously because there's no uh, engine noise. And it's just like uh, pretty much a push bike it's as easy as a push bike to ride maybe even easier just get on it rev it and go now acceleration is fairly good on these they usually have more torque than uh, say the equivalent they usually have more torque than the equivalent electric uh, petrol vehicle And yeah, you can get them to 30 miles an hour fairly easily. We did a test between the E-Colt um, and the normal Colt. And the normal Colt was de-restricted 50cc and the E-Colt was restricted to 30 miles an hour. But even because the um, the Colt E-Colt uh, had more torque, so when we were going around the block, the E-Colt actually had to slow down and wait for the, um, the unrestricted Colt because it could just out talk it everywhere, get to top speed a hell of a lot faster and therefore um, obviously get to your destination quicker. So the mirrors again you're looking at when they're set up right you're looking at about 25 percent. Um, well, let's have a look. All right, 75% of the mirrors are use usable. The seating position on this is nice, the seat is fairly soft, and the suspension isn't too hard. But usually with the lighter bikes, the suspension it is a little bit less forgiving 
um, just because there's no preloading on the bike itself. So was, it is a bit windy, there's not a lot I can do about it. So at the minute we're in sport, less eco reduces the speed. So yeah, all, all the free speed uh, settings are, they don't reduce the torque, they just reduce the top end speed. Now in theory, in eco mode, you should be allowed to use a red wedge, but remember if you get go on there with a um, with a number plate on you're probably going to get into some trouble so I wouldn't suggest doing that because as soon as you put an L plate on it's class as a road vehicle and the same thing as well is if you remove um, your number plate and go onto the redways because this hasn't got pedals um, and can go 30 miles an hour you're still not allowed to use it so this is a road designed scooter so that's where you need to use it but it is very smooth and if you're using it for inner city riding um, going to the shops that sort of thing you're not going to get anywhere super fast but it's pretty much the same as having a scooter anyway so this is what you're gonna what you're going for so what I've done as well on this test ride is I have turned on the front camera and I'll be using that for some of my test ride footage I've also got a camera down the side so you can see down the side of me so some new angles this time and as you can see on the amp meter going 30 miles an hour this is only drawing like 35 percent of the uh, max output of the ampage so the battery is 24 amp hour in theory that should mean that it's using just under just under 10 i would imagine amps to ride this journey The other thing to note with this bike is as soon as you touch the brakes, regardless of how hard, um, it will remove the power, all the power from the motor. Um, so all you have to do is release the brake and the power comes straight back on. And I believe the, um, the brakes and the side stand switch are probably connected to the same circuit because the same thing, if you put down your side stand, um, you will not be able to go anywhere. The, the big test for these are hills. That's usually where they uh, are better in regards to electric versus petrol. Because as I said before, electric bikes or electric scooters usually have a lot more torque. The only downfall, obviously, of an electric vehicle is um, the sorry concentrating uh, the downfall of an electric vehicle is how much distance so the power capacity of the bike so even up that little hill uh, whereas a 50cc motorbike uh, or scooter would probably not accelerate up that hill they would just stay at a steady speed um, an electric one doesn't have a problem climbing and we're going downhill using no power at all so we're free flowing and it's going to 33 so now that it's flattening off the power's ampage usage is going back up so now let's go and get all technical and we're going to go back to you in the studio so this bike is £1,699 plus £100 on the road. This is as long as you have the Olive Grant. If you don't have the Olive Grant, then it is going to be somewhere in the region of £2,195 plus £100 on the road. The Olive Grant is a government grant that you get at the point of purchase, so you never actually have to pay that money. Um, the money comes directly to us 
the seller and we do all the paperwork and all that so you are pretty much buying this by for 1699 pound plus 100 pounds on the road but we claim back some on our purchase price um so tax on this you are are exempt so you don't have to actually pay for the tax also mot you don't have to pay for for three years because it's a brand new vehicle so that's good to fill it up this bike last time i checked it was something like 15 pence um, to charge the whole thing so you're going to be saving quite a lot of money on fuel well i say quite a lot of electric um, petrol scooters are very economical anyway um, insurance you're going to be looking at somewhere in the region of 350 to 500 pound for a 16 year old the older you are the cheaper it gets and also it very much depends on what area you are getting the quote in so remember you still have to wear a helmet jacket gloves pair of boots so that's about it for this point i hope you've enjoyed my video please comment below if you've got anything to say hit that thumbs up and a thumbs down and subscribe to my channel so you can stay updated to all my all of my latest content but as always ride safe